But I've seen country, and I probably some people will probably kill me over this. It went from storytelling, like you said, to can you differentiate between it and rock and roll? Yeah, yeah, I, I get that. And then now, it, you know, with with Chris Stapleton and everything, I listen to Chris Stapleton when he's with the Steel Drivers. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people aren't familiar with that. Where oh, yes. where the rainbows never die. Oh my God, yeah. it, it gets me every time. Yeah. You know, <sighs> and 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 then he went to Nashville, and you see him at at the CMAs one time, and he's singing with Luke Bryant a song that he wrote, and they got a silhouette of him, and when he opens his mouth to do the backup vocals, mm -hmm. I was watching it, and I said, "That's Chris Stapleton." And then it was like, like six we months later, his voice. He yeah. hit, you know, yeah. I said he should be at the front instead of whoever <laughs> yeah and, and, and you know like I, more power to chris get your money brother i understand <laughs> it he, he, where he's doing songs with pink and justin timberlake and all that get your money brother and, and, and i'm so thankful that like his new album was as good as it was yeah like, it's like, called starting over yeah start the, the the song like the song starting over on starting over oh yeah oh it's it was. but whenever i heard that i'm like yes i, I was i was Kind of worried about him there for a little bit. I'm like, oh man, don't start sounding like Luke Bryan. Please start. <laughs> no, please don't start sounding Luke like Bryan's Luke Bryan. Luke Bryan's gonna call up your, you know, on your podcast. I really think gonna... that uh, Chris Stapleton's actually one of the OGs, one of the real ones, because his voice is just so unique and he's just true to himself. And yeah. I don't think he's ever gonna actually change himself for other people. But I think he's gonna stay true to himself. I, I think you can so differentiate too. when you hear him sing. There's no nothing like it. Oh no! I mean, just he—he he can do acapella yeah. and still bring the house mm -hmm. down. That just the the power of his voice. I was just—I was just—I just got worried there for a little bit whenever he was doing a bunch of features and all that. I'm like, oh, please don't, please don't. But now he—I I guess he just got that money and uh, got out of there. So good for you, Chris. Good for you. I—I'm I, a really big fan of uh, Sturgill Simpson, though. Like what he's doing. What I love about him is no album sounds the same. Yeah. Like that dude is just all He's, over the place. Yeah, different genres. Yeah, yeah. Like, like you'll have a psychedelic rock album, mm -hmm. and then you have a bluegrass album. It's I, just I love his like, uh, album where he's on the the lawnmower. Oh album. yeah, like I cutting just, grass. I just, yeah, yeah, I just love the album. And, and what I like, what the way that uh I kind of describe because I have I come from Georgia, and a lot of uh, my family down there aren't familiar with uh people like Sturgill Simpson and Tyler Childers, what I tell them is like Tyler is like the new Willie and Sturgill is like the new Waylon. Yeah. 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 And I, I think a lot. I think that that's like a good way to kind of summarize what them two guys do. And I wish they'd do like a joint album together. I, I, I think so too. And I think they've actually worked together some. I've, yeah, I think I've, I think a Sturgill like produces almost everything that Tyler mm -hmm. does. Yeah. He took Tyler under his wing and then Tyler got a little bit bigger than Sturgill. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I, you know, and I can't wait for a new Tyler Childers record either. Yeah, me too. I, I love what he done with the whole fiddle album that he done, but and I'm curious to see what he does next. But, hey, we'll see.